Hey, um, welcome back. This is the next video for setting up Flask. Um, uh, and uh, this video actually isn't really about Flask. It's really about um, deploying your Flask application. I'm making this video or this little series uh, for my students. And um, as such, it's not meant to be uh, setting up a production server. It's not meant to set up uh, you know, anything that's high available or whatever. It's just getting something out there to show off to your family and friends. And my classes will be discussing better ways of doing things later on. But th this is just a quick way to get going. So, um, you know, there are going to be some shortcuts here. There's going to be some things that are, you know, that, that you might say are, oh, well, you shouldn't, you do it this way. No, that's the point is something quick and easy. So, um, if you've watched the other videos, that's how we set up a virtual environment. Um, and that sets us up um, to use Python to create a web application. And um, then, you know, I'm not going to talk really about setting things up with Flask. I showed a little demo app in the other video, if I remember correctly. Uh, but the documentation is great. It's, it's got this really great uh, tutorial, a quick start, lots of good stuff here on the Flask main Flask site. Um, if you search for Flask on YouTube, there are a number of good videos there. There, there there's some really good. There's a uh, there's Discover Flask. There's good stuff. I'll put some links on onto the blog post that goes with this. Um, so let's say you've been setting up, your machine is set up, you're able to work with Flask, set up little websites, web applications, but now you want to get it up somewhere um, in the world. And for that, you have to host it somewhere. And the place I like hosting things is DigitalOcean. Um, DigitalOcean is a cloud provider. Um, I'm a big fan of theirs. I really love their stuff. It's inexpensive. It works. They've got some really nice features. Um, one of the really nice features, if you go to their site, um, it's got this community. And um, that's just, you know, DigitalOcean slash community, which has got tons of tutorials um, and stuff like that uh, for getting started, for setting up different things. Um, uh, really, really helpful, really, really great stuff. Um, what you should all do is, if you're a student, you should all look up GitHub Education, the GitHub Education Pack. And the GitHub Education Pack, if you sign up, it, it gives you a number of things. Um, some of them may or may not be useful to you, but uh, if you go down here, you'll see that if you sign up for the GitHub Education Pack, you're going to get the uh, $50 in credit from DigitalOcean. And on their basic low-end box in the cloud, Linux box in the cloud, you basically get, uh, it's $5 a month, so that's 10 months of working um, on a machine in the cloud. Uh, so it's really cheap, and here it's free if you're a student for those first 10 months. Um, so anyway, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to DigitalOcean and um, you know, if you're going to do it this way, and you're going to log in. Now, one thing that I love the guys at DigitalOcean, and I love the company, and I love the product, but notice that when you log in, you lose this, um, you lose this community uh, link, which, which kind of, you know, bothers me, um, and um, that's unfortunate. Uh, so, because um, that's really a great resource, and it's good to remember that, and if you don't see it up there, you might forget. Um, so the first thing you should do when you log in is you should go here to Settings, and you want to set up an SSH key. So you're just going to go here, click on security. There's going to be a link to set up your SSH key. Um, I'm not going to go through the details there. Um, there are some tutorials here that, um, that are on the server, that are, sorry, are on um, DigitalOcean's community site that I will link to, which step you through that, and I've already done it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to create a droplet. Okay, that's what they call their boxes, uh, you know, their, their servers in the cloud. It's going to be Ubuntu. I could choose different things here, but this is fine. Um, you can also do these one-click apps for later on. So if you want to, let's say, um, run Docker, you can just click that. You're all ready to go. Or if you want to run own cloud, which is like a Dropbox alternative, uh, WordPress, etc. But we're just going to go with uh, the Ubuntu distribution, the $5 a month box. It's going to be here in New York, uh, Region 3. That's fine. Um, none of these things. I'm going to choose um, uh, my SSH key. Uh, now, you can always um, put a new key in here. If I click on New Key, I could just uh, paste a public key and give it a name, and that would have added it right there if I didn't remember to do this beforehand. I'm going to create one droplet. Let's call it Flask Demo. And let's create the box. Now I don't have to wait for this. I can click over here to bring this up, and when it's ready, it'll um, it'll come on up. But you'll notice here I have um, an IP address that I can connect to for this box. Now. Um, 
it's still not created, so that won't work yet. But I'm going to copy this IP address. And the way you should connect to the box is by SSH into it, using SSH. Now, is it done? Yes, okay, so we are now done on this. So I'm going to, let's make this bigger. I am now going to SSH to root at that IP address. And that logs me in. And the first thing I like doing is adding a user. So I'll add user Zemanski. And that added the user. And I'll add group Zemanski to sudo. Sudo lets me have a root access from Zemanski. And I'm going to now test this. I'll log out. And now the next time I log in, I, since my username on this machine is Zemanski, I don't have to do anything different. I can log in, I'm going to log out, and I'm going to do one more thing here, SSH copy ID to that machine. And so now when I SSH, I don't need my password because I've copied my SSH key over. So I'm going to turn keystrokes back on just so you can see what's going on. And I like doing a sudo app get update. Oops. It's going to ask me my password this time, so I have to turn this back off. And it shouldn't ask me again for this session. And this will be pretty quick, seeing how long the video has recorded for so far. Um, and then I like doing an upgrade. So basically, I just like upgrading all the packages um, when we first set up this box, make sure everything's up to date. So um, this is almost done. Um, and I'm just going to do disk upgrade as well to see if there's nothing. Okay, good. So now this is all done, and I'm ready, almost ready to work, but I want to put a couple of packages on here. This already should have Python. Um, no, it doesn't. So um, let's get um, sudo app get install python3. And um, I'm also going to install Emacs because I can't really do without Emacs. And, and I'm also going to install Python virtual n just because that's what we're going to need to set up um, our working environment. Um, so notice, and again, I'm working on SSH here. I'm actually this, uh, in here, I'm connected to my box, my DigitalOcean box. All right, not my machine, not my home machine. So this is going pretty quickly. Meanwhile, while that's going, I'll show you something else, that if you don't have SSH on your machine, once you set up an account with a password, you can launch a console here, and you can actually log in, and I'm not going to type in here because I don't want to bother turning off the keys, but you can actually log in here and um, do all the stuff, all your maintenance and all your work through this console, even though I prefer using SSH. So this is almost done. Um, the video is approaching nine minutes. I'm just going to do one or two more things. I want to keep all the videos down to about ten minutes. Um, but, but that's okay. So now we have Python. Uh, we have Python 3. We have virtual env is set up. Um, and we also have Emacs. And it's Emacs 24.5. Um, I'm not actually going to use Emacs that much here because I'm not going to edit files right on this box. But that's a good place to stop. So um, why don't we do that? So I'm just going to stop the video. And um, I just started the video again. And I just kind of, um, that was kind of bad. I just stopped it abruptly. My finger clicked before I said. So I'm going to stop the video now. And the next time we're going to set up virtual environment and a little Flask application. Um, running on this box and then we're going to take it from there. So now I'm going to stop the video.